Have you been wondering what the book Reinvent Yourself by James Altucher is about but haven't got around to read it? In this video we are going to summarize the book and extract all the core messages. Hey it's Emma from 5 Minute Summary where we cover the core messages of books and contents in 5 minutes. If you are new here or find this content valuable make sure you click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the like button as well. Let's get into it. On choosing yourself, I always say it first has to come from within, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health. I do not like to have to choose. You need to reinvent yourself every five years by learning new skills, practicing new efforts and trying on new careers. Defining freedom in different ways, this includes reducing expectations, increasing sources of income so no one source controls you. Finding mentors to teach you, find friends who build you up and challenge you. Habits, you're the average of the five habits you do, the things you eat, the ideas you have, the content you consume, the people you hang out with. Speak to breathe spirit into an idea, to be enthusiastic, to convey emotion, to influence, this is the only way to have impact with your unique creativity. The following are some things that the author learned from former lead FBI hostage negotiator Chris Voss. You always want to get more information in a negotiation with as little commitment as possible on your side. Ask open-ended questions starting with how or what, ask a lot of them, be prepared in advance with your how questions. No offense, but how? Get the other side to say no first, to do that, ask them a question like, do you want this project to fail? Or is this situation not going to work out for either side? They don't want to fail, so they will say no, now you can start to find common ground. You can start to get empathy with the other side by listing the negatives on your side, then they start to agree with you. If someone says, this car is $36,000, then come back with something like, listen, I know it's very difficult to go below $36,000, I know you are doing the best you can here, but the most I can afford is $32,157. Before we uh, give our answer, let's talk money, dollars and cents, Wes. Don't be afraid to go silent, mirror and then have the confidence to go silent. Your goal is to get the other side talking as much as possible, the more information you have, the better, and the more likely they will negotiate against themselves. Lastly, if the other side add a deadline, don't feel obligated to meet it, the negotiation won't end, they still need you. You choose yourself every day, once choice at a time, you choose yourself with all of your fears and hopes mixed together and nobody knows what's going to happen, but if you do it with a sense of mission, a belief in your vision, what happens may not be what you expect, when you choose yourself, you will never say, I wonder what would have happened. Well, that is what we're doing, isn't it? Improving 1% a day is not even noticeable, that's why it's so easy for people to say, nothing is happening, and inadvertently cost their lives 1% a day. Focus on that 1% improvement and everything changes. Integrity, humility, and doing your best are by far the most important considerations when evaluating whether to work for someone. It's never too late to do what you love, what you love is always on the shore, waiting with open arms. James' theory on careers is that it takes one to three years to do the studying required, about two years before you are making any money at the new career, three to four years before you are making a living from it and five to six years before you are killing it, but it requires persistence each day. Raise your hand if you want to get rich. All right. I always have to tell myself to diversify my celebrations, celebrate the small, not always the big. If I spend my life aiming for that 1% improvement every day then I may never be the best in the world at anything, but I know I will be the best me at everything. Every day I wake up and look out the window and say to whatever it is outside of myself, help me save a life today. Always be looking for new opportunities to improve incrementally. Ask yourself, what does your good enough day look like? What's one thing that moves you past that? Never let the practical get in the way of the possible. If you ask every day, how did I help people today? Then you will have more traffic and money than you could have imagined. Escaping the labels and titles and hopes that everyone else has for us is one of the first steps in choosing ourselves for the success we are meant to have. When you are at the crossroads, and your heart loves one path and doesn't love the other, forget about which path has the money and the work, and take the path you love. Learning to find happiness with less is true wealth. We all suffer, but we must all transform that suffering into the art and energy that drives us to change. What are you afraid of, man? On Erickson's theory of deliberate practice, it's not about 10,000 hours, it's about 10,000 hours where you practice with intent. If you enjoy this video and find it valuable, click the like button and subscribe to the channel, make sure to also check out the other videos in the personal development and investing series where you will find more 5-minute summaries of amazing books. I'll see you on the next one.